Hey, good optometry morning. If your child has myopia or nearsightedness, listen up because the next three minutes could change their life. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, the YouTube eye doctor. And with me today is Dr. Mark Bullimore. And he is a world expert on child myopia. So Mark, here's the question. There's a child just in an eye exam. You diagnose them with myopia. What does that parent need to know and what do they need to do? So the first thing I need to know is whether the parent or either of the parents are myopic. Because if you've got a parent who is myopic, I think the conversation goes a different direction than if they're not. So if you've got a parent who is myopic, then you can say, well, you've been through this yourself. And I'd like to explore whether we can plan a different future for your child than what you've experienced with your progress in myopia. So there's things you can do now. There's things you can do now. And it's like you can pitch a range of options. And I don't know quite what you do in your practice. I mean, little product placement here. There's a Stellar sign behind, which is Essilor Luxottica's uh, state-of-the-art lens. There's overnight orthokeratology. There's soft lenses and there's low concentration atropine. There's a lot of options that we have. And I work with a lot of those companies. So I work with companies in each of those areas. So when somebody says to me, which treatment is the best? That's right, yeah, that's what I wanna know. Well, that's like asking you, which of your children you love the most? Oh, well, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> but it depends on the day though, okay? <laughs> but the, the the, the answer is the one the child will use, because if the child's not going to use a treatment, if they're not going to wear their glasses, if they're not going to put drops in, if they're not going to use their contact lenses on a regular basis, there's no point. It's not going to work. So as you know, the real gift you have is talking with the child, talking with the parent, and making an informed decision as what's the best match for that child so that not only will they be happy with the vision and the experience, but they'll also wear it. They'll use it if it's a drop. They'll wear it if it's a contact lens or a spectacle lens. And that's really the key. And in a nutshell, like how, how much is it, do they slow down myopia? Well, I think um, if you start early and stay the course, there's the potential to slow myopia down by over a diopter and potentially a lot more. So if you look at the Cubavision data from the MySight study, um, they demonstrated over six years, you're getting maybe a diopter and a half, maybe a little bit more of slowing of myopia. Um, but we're still in the early days. We don't have a lot of long-term data, um, but we have some really quality evidence on which we can base some predictions. So if you start early, if you stay the course, then a myopic parent's child could have a very different future than what they had. Fantastic, and that's great news. And so the take home message here is, if you have a child, make sure you get their eyes checked, get them checked earlier, and talk with your optometrist about options for slowing down myopia even before they're myopic. That's a good and, point. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about how to manage your myopia, you can watch this, this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.